Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to make a bow pull and bow release animation, or as some of you would like to call it, the bow and arrow animation. So let's jump right in. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the BPS rig version 4, and again, the link will be in the description. It belongs to the Squared Media YouTube channel, and I'm going to leave uh, the YouTube channel and the Discord server in the description. Now, the second thing I'm going to need is the BSS or the Blockscape Studios rig pack. I already showed you in my beginner tutorial series, but for those of you who haven't seen it, then you can click the link in the description, open up the Boxscape Studios pack, go to their website and then download their asset pack and then be sure to organize them in a folder. I'm also going to leave a link for the, uh, the website and also I'm going to leave a link for my video where I explain how to download this and set everything up. So, once you download the BPS rig and once you download the BSS asset pack, we're going to need to use their bow and then we're going to need to use their arrow assets. So, let's do that. So, go to File, Append and I'm going to go inside my Minecraft Animations folder. I have it saved in items and blocks and it's gonna be called cycles minecraft rig and some version here click on this and then we're gonna find the minecraft item rig in this case it's this one but if it's hard for you you can search it over here so i'm gonna click on the minecraft item rig and then we're gonna need to go to object once we're inside the object we're gonna search here and then type bow and then we're gonna need to import two things one is bones bow and then the second one is bow so select the bonus bow and then click on control and then select the bow as well. Or I think you can click on shift and then select both of them as well. Once you select both of them, click on append. And then we're going to append the bow and this cube, which we're not going to need. So I'm going to do the left click, select this cube and then click on X and delete because we're not going to need it. I'm going to click on this bow or the bones of the bow. And then I can use numpad period or I can use F to zoom in. And if you followed my beginning tutorial series, you can, I think some of you have set it to F like I do. So if I click on F, it's going to zoom in and orbit around the object. I'm going to quickly turn on the screencast keys add on as well. So you can see what I'm clicking here. So F here or numpad period. Now, I can either select this bow, but if we're going to do the bow animation, we're not going to use the mesh. We're, instead, we're going to use the bows. So let me explain how the bow works. If you select this bow and then if you click on control tab, to go to pose mode or if you click on object here on the top left corner and then go to pose mode you're going to enter pose mode and you can use these two bones to manipulate the bow so this bone is used to move is used to move the entire bow and then this bone is used to do this pulling animation so you can do this pull and then you can do the releasing animation and then once you keyframe it it's going to look pretty cool now the second thing we're going to need is i'm first going to go out of the pose mode control tab and then we're going to import the arrow we're not going to import the Minecraft default arrow. We're going to use the, the 3D arrow, which Boxscape Studios also provides. So go to File, Append again, and then we're already inside the Minecraft IT rig. So I'm going to click on this and then type arrow. And then we're going to need to import the arrow 3D. You can also import arrow 3D with bone, but it's complicated. Not too complicated, but for this tutorial, we're not going to need it. We can use the arrow 3D. So double click on this or click on Append. And then we just imported the arrow. Now we're ready to start the animation. So first thing we're going to do is parent these to the respective arms. So I'm going to parent this to the right arm. I'm going to parent the bow to the left arm. So select the arrow first, and then I'm going to use the 3D cursor to move it properly. So I'm going to do shift and then right click to move the 3D cursor in front of the character's right arm. And then I'm going to click on shift S and then select shift cursor. I'm also going to select the bow while I'm in the object mode. And then I'm going to move the cursor here. Click on Shift S, Selection to Cursor. Well, now that these are in front of the character's hands, I'm going to rotate this. And then I'm going to rotate this and place it properly as well. Just rotate it however you want. I'm going to place the bow somewhere over here. Or actually over here because we're going to do the bow animation. And then we can adjust it later on. Don't worry that it's going through the character. It's fine for now. Now, once they're placed however we want, we're going to select the character's bones. And then we're going to go to the pose mode. So click on control tab or use this menu. So control tab, go to pose mode. And then I'm going to select the right arm. And then I'm going to use the dynamic parent add-on. So I'm not going to use the traditional parenting. I'm going to use the dynamic parent add-on because I want to release this arrow in the future. So I'm also going to leave a link for the dynamic parent add-on in the description. Once you install the dynamic parent add-on, go to edit preferences, add-ons, and then search for dynamic parent add-on, and then make sure that it's enabled from here. I'm going to close this, I'm going to click on end to expand this menu, 
and then go to dynamic parent add-on and we have dynamic parent add-on here so again select the characters right arm i'm going to click on shift and then select the bow as well or the arrow apologies and then click on create this can create a new keyframe and if i select my character's arm the arrow is going to follow it now let's do the same for the other arm but let's parent the bow so control tab go out of the pose mode and let's first go inside the pose mode of the bow because we're going to need to parent this bone instead of the whole bow. So, control tab, I'm going to select this bone, adjust it slightly, and then make sure to go to edit, and be sure that you have this disabled lock object mode, because we're going to be able to select objects while we're inside the pose mode. So, now click on the character, go to pose mode, control tab, select this hand, or the R, and then shift and then select this bone of the bow, and then again, click on create. Now, actually on the bow, we could use the control P and then parent, but let's just keep it simple and let's use the dynamic parent atom for both of them so that it's not confusing. And then the first thing we're going to need before the animation is prepare the character for the animation. So let's just create a very neutral pose uh, before the character does the bow pulling and releasing and shooting animation. So I'm just quickly going to move the body rotate it somewhere over here i'm not going to animate the face because it's a bow and arrow tutorial so who cares i don't do you care if you do care get out of here i'm just kidding don't go so i'm going to adjust this and i think we might be ready for some animation i'm going to pull this apart and then to make our lives easier if you guys watch my tutorials you know i like to use the auto keyframing so turn on the auto keyframe over here above the timeline, click on this button and then go to King and select location, rotation. We're not going to need this scale. So select rotation, location and rotation. And once you click on I and once you set a keyframe, it's going to be set. Uh, the keyframes are going to be set automatically. So I'm going to quickly close this. I'm going to click on N and then I'm going to click on T to get rid of these menus so that we have the whole screen. And now I'm going to do the quick animation. So I'm going to do the first character moving left and then down. And then I'm going to animate the character moving right and then up. And then I'm going to do the ball release animation. So let's quickly animate some basic movements. I'm going to go to frame. I'm going to go to frame 12. And by the way, I'm using 30 FPS. So I'm going to quickly bend the character's body like this. Pelvis, select torso. Move it down as well. And then this is what I'm going to do with the arms. And make sure the arms meet each other somewhere in the center. So I'm going to do this. And then I can also click on G and then move the shoulders in front. I know you can't do that in the game, but who cares? It's an animation. You can do that. Sometimes it's necessary. So let's move the shoulders forward. Or maybe you can do that in the game. I don't know. Can you do that in the game? Can you move your shoulders like this in the game? If you can, leave a comment down below. Enlighten me. I have no idea. I haven't played Minecraft in a while. And now if you guys notice, I'm setting the keyframes over here. But I forgot to set the keyframes on frame 0, which is a common mistake for many animators, including me, but it's fine. So another easy fix we can do is go back and then set a keyframe for the bows which we needed to set keyframes for. So I'm going to select this leg, click on R to rotate, maybe move it back. I went to frame 0 and I have my starting keyframe to 0 as well. And then adjust these, adjust the body as well. Let's adjust the head, move it forward. Let's move the hand backwards in the starting frame so that it appears as if it's moving like this. And I think this should be enough. I like the way the leg is sliding. So I'm gonna make it appear as if it was already slided on the side or slid on the side. So we have this motion and then let's move them closer to each other. And then we can also manipulate these objects. So let's move the bow. And since we have a keyframe already on the zero keyframe, we can animate this and move it somewhere over here. I'm using RR to free rotate. And then I can bend the arm slightly, move it back so that we have a space for the arrow. I can rotate it. And then I can select the arrow. If it's too hard for you, go to the side, select the arrow, click on R and then rotate it and let's try to align it with the bow like this and once we align it with the bow 
I can again select the character's hands and then place it properly on the bow. Now we have this small motion and the last thing we need to do before the character releases the bow is select some of the bonus which we want to animate. I'm going to select the body, hands and the legs as well. Click on I and make sure they all have a keyframe set so that we don't repeat the mistake we did on the frame zero. I'm talking about we. I did it. It's my fault. So if you guys didn't do it, if you guys didn't commit this mistake, well done. So let's go to frame 24 and then I'm going to click on select this pelvis, click on Alt R, rotate it. Then I'm click, going to click on R, Z to rotate it on the side because we're going to need to stay on the side like this. I'm going to select the leg, click on G, Y and then move it back, R, Z to rotate it. Another tricky cool thing you can do is instead of using the axis like G, Y, I can select, click on G and then use my middle mouse to click on this and then snap the leg only on one axis. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and I'm going to rotate the body this way. Let's see. Now I don't want to animate this leg too much. Let's see what we have. That looks slightly better. Now basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling the character on the side. I'm going to move the head forward and then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the hand like this. I'm going to rotate it slightly. Um, again, I'm going to keyframe the bow, place it like this and then I'm, I'm going to adjust this hand accordingly as well. I can take this again, G, move it on the side, G, maybe move it on the front, place it somewhere over here and since it's not placed properly, I can select the forearm, move it forward, and then I can select the arrow and then adjust it as well. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. If I'm going too fast, leave a comment down below. And then another cool thing we need to do is if you remember, let's place the arrow somewhere over here, but we can fix it later. So select the bones of the bow and we are already in the pose mode. And then select this bone. If you remember, we're going to use this for this animation. But as you can see, we don't have any keyframes here. So I'm going to go to frame 12. And then I'm going to click on I to set a keyframe for this. Now I'm going to go to frame 24. And then I'm going to pull it like this. I'm going to click on G and then move it back. Or you can click on T and use these gizmos to move it back and forward. So let's move it back. And then let's adjust the arm accordingly as well. So G, move it back. Rotate it. Can take some time to adjust but once you get it right it's gonna look pretty cool now this arrowhead is way back so i don't want it to be way back and move it forward and then if we rewatch our basic animation we have this motion character takes the bow and then prepares to release it now i think this animation is not i think this pose is not the cleanest so you can take your time to adjust it. I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on adjusting this. Now, we also created only the main movements. We didn't do any in-betweens. We didn't do any polishing. And we're not going to do that because it's very basic bow and arrow tutorial. I'm going to show you the principles of bow and arrow. And then from there, you can polish it. So right here, it, this arrow goes inside the bow. So I'm quickly going to fix that. And I'm going to continue to the next steps. So I'm going to go out of the pose mode. Adjust it. If it's necessary, you can adjust it frame by frame. Then let's see what we have. Right here, as you can see, this arrow is back and this is not moving. So I can select this control tab, select this and then move it back already on frame 17 as if it's already moving back. Let's see what we have. And then right here, I'm going to take this and make sure it's in front of this string because if it's back, it's not really realistic. So make sure it's somewhere in the front or I can move it here, take the arm of the character's arm and then move it forward. And let's place it somewhere over here. Then if we rewatch our animation, we have this and I would like this. So I can select the keyframe on 13, uh, frame 13, which I just created. I'm going to click on X and delete. 
let's see what we have. Yeah, that looks a little better. So, character places the arrow over here and then expands the string. And then from there, we can do a quick release animation, which is pretty easy to do. So I have one, two, and then the third motion is going to be pretty, pretty simple. So I'm only going to animate the character's arm. So let's go forward about six or seven frames. Let's go to frame 30. And then we're going to do this quick motion. Okay. The character is going to rotate the arm up, rotate the forearm in. It's going to do this quick motion as if the character released the bow. Now, in real life, if you watch the bow and arrow throwing animation, the character, not the character, but the human basically moves the fingers, moves, moves the fingers apart, which means that they release the bow. But since the Minecraft, in Minecraft, we don't have fingers, we can quickly move this arm to indicate that the character released the bow and arrow or the character released an arrow from the bow. And then right on frame 24, when the character starts moving, I can select this arrow. And then this is what I can do. I can click on N. Go to dynamic parent add-on and this time instead of creating instead of creating new keyframes i'm, I'm going to click on disable this is going to create two new keyframes so on frame 23 it's still good the arrow is still going to be parented to the character's arm and then on frame 24 it's going to be released so what i can do is go forward about on frame 30 again and then click on g go out click on g y and then move it forward and you can see we have this animation character prepares the bow and then throws it now you can adjust this keyframe if it's too fast for you you can take this move it forward and also i recommend to select this first keyframe click on t set this to linear and then we have this animation i'm going to slow it down again maybe change the location move it slowly somewhere over here now it's way too slow. So maybe move it far away again. Just play around with it. And the last thing we need to do is since we already released this arrow, you could do whatever you want with the arrow from here. Now, let me have a look at it again. I think the Bezier works well. So I'm going to select Bezier. Yeah, I think the Bezier might work for this version. So my recommendation is to play around with this. And the last thing we need to do, again, as I mentioned, is select this bow. Click on Control Tab, go to Pose Mode, and then on Frame 24, make sure it's still it has a keyframe set. Click on I. It already has a keyframe, but still make sure. And then go forward on Frame 30, and then click on Alt G. You can move this forward, but you can also click on Alt G to move it in the starting place. And then if we rewatch our animation, we have this. But I think it's a bit too slow, so again, I can select this keyframe on Frame 30. If I left click. I can select this keyframe. If I press G and then move it on my timeline, I can move it wherever I want. If I move it closer here, it's going to be faster. And if we rewatch, it moves in a lot faster. So yeah, this is pretty simple bow and arrow throwing animation. You can polish this and make in betweens and make out of the polishing details in the future. But yeah, this, so this was, I think, one of my most requested tutorials. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, play around see what works for you which poses which keyframes works for you and just do whatever you want with it so yeah thank you for watching and be sure to leave a comment down below if you want to see more tutorials also leave a like i would really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more weekly minecraft animation tutorials i make minecraft animation tutorials and sometimes i also upload some of my own minecraft animations also if you want to learn how you can make the block placing or the building animation in blender then you can check out this video right here and i will see you there thank you for watching